Yo, what's going on, man? This is a new series I'm going to start doing with, like, hip-hop news. Like, you know, if I know a lot of people work, you know, they got a 9 to 5 or a lot of, you know, y'all still in college or high school, middle school, whatever that was, my videos, and y'all got a busy life. Y'all don't keep up with, like, this hip-hop news, beef, drama, and all this crazy stuff that's been going on in the, in the hip-hop culture. But, you know, like I said, I'm going to do one, one, or twi one or two of these videos every week. And, you know, before we even start this video, give it a like share you know drop a comment and subscribe man y'all need to subscribe to my own youtube man so y'all can drop that notification click on that notification y'all can keep up like i said i'm finna pump these little quick videos out every now and then but yeah man we're gonna get into it Todd the creator man he's been going viral for calling in out and a lot of i mean he didn't say his name but a lot of people just put it you know two to two together so like you know i'm gonna just let y'all hear what he had to say regular like caucasian man and he's like mocking future and gucci main like rap music and like people are like this shit hard it's not even like satire it's like i'm just joking i'm just mocking it but i'm like no 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 you can't do and i hold rap music so close too. to my heart because this shit changed my life and everyone's life around me and i'm a nerd about this shit this is like weird and i'm why i'm looking at it and something about it like don't even sit well with me in comparison to someone like a mac miller or eminem who it didn't seem like they was mocking it they had a genuine love for it and they were still just being for sure that you know uh as i heard what he said you know he said he didn't say his name but like i said everybody put two two together in and stuff like that and I feel like Tyler kind of like, he's speaking f like facts, but like what he didn't, not speaking facts is like what he said, he's mocking Gucci man and future. And I feel like that's where he, um he's kind of like, I don't know, throwing people off. And that's where it kind of going viral because he don't sound like future. And I feel like he got inspired by Gucci man. Y'all listen to Gucci man back in the day when Gucci used to drop mixtapes back to back to back to back you know he used to have in his intros dj screams dj drama uh dj holiday and y'all know who dj holiday is if you're an in fan you know that's who um and collab with in his intro for his uh new album or tape whatever you want to call it and you know i feel like he's more influenced and in showing like you know his respect to gucci like hey you influence me so i don't see like that is mocking but the other part what i feel like He's really trying to talk like, you know, a lot of people, when they first heard in, they thought it was a rapper from Atlanta. Well, everybody thought he was black, put it like that. And, you know, when they realized he was white, they were like, it shocked the world. Like, oh, my God. You know, but, you know, everybody from Atlanta thought when in dropped his music, you know, he sounded like Brizo. If y'all don't know who that is, that's an underground artist from Atlanta. I'm going to play a song for y'all from Brizo. I don't want to play too long because I don't want to get copyrighted, but y'all get it, you know. A lot of people say that's where in, you know, stole his flow and stuff like that. And to me, I personally think that's where he got his flow. He stole Brizo's whole flow. And to me, I feel like he shut Brizo up by collabing with him on a song. They got a song together. They already did it because a lot of when In first came out, everybody was accusing him. I'm telling you on TikTok, everywhere. If you go back like to his old videos, YouTube, you're going to see comments like Brizo, 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 Brizo. I'm telling you, look it up, bro. Look it up on YouTube. Say Brizo and In. I'm telling you, like, it, it's just crazy that the comparisons are there. And I, I, I did, and that's where I, like Tyler Carrez really was talking about. And, you know, his manager and manager responded back. He said, yo... He tagged uh, Tyler, the creator. I, I signed in, and I'm from Atlanta. He sound nothing like Gucci or Future, LOL. It's called influence. But I never thought I'd see the days where you become an old and hate on the youth. See, that's why I'm saying that Gucci, that mocking that Gucci and Future threw people off when he really, you know, I get what uh, Tyler, the creator, was trying to say. But like I said, he don't sound like anything like Future, and he definitely and was influenced by Gucci, man. With that whole DJ Holiday, you know, intros and stuff like that. But he said he sound nothing like that. But see, they don't, they don't want to address that he really and really stole Breeze off whole flow. And right now, it's going viral. They're saying they still, he still. If you could, you could look it up on YouTube yourself. You know, like they're saying that 
and you know it's trying to sound like unto japan which i mean i don't know that's that's a crazy take but if y'all don't believe me or like well, what y'all think about this whole situation drop you know drop some drop some comments and stuff like that let me know what y'all think about this but personally me i think Breezo ran i mean not Breezo and ran off with uh and ran off with Breezo flow like I said, they collabed on a project. Well, not a project, but a song to shut, kind of shut up Brizo and the fans keep coming. Brizo, Brizo, Brizo did. And y'all remember when Ann was in Atlanta, he was, you know, he linked up with Brizo a couple times in the studio and stuff like that, man. He was going viral and stuff because he had took a picture with them outside the gas station, you know, when he first came out. And I get what um, Tyler, the creator, was trying to say, but like I said, he misworded it. Let me know, you know, drop the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this whole situation, man. I'm out, man.